more innovation in robotic vacuums. Welcome back to Textonation. Joining us from Roborock is Public Relations Manager, Dan Chem. Good to see you, Dan. Good to see you. You have a brand new machine just coming out soon. But first, give us a little background before we get into it uh, about Roborock. Okay, we have been in the uh, in the in the industry for a couple of years now. Uh, we started off in 2016 with our first uh, row vacuum, and since then we have uh, rolled out a couple more uh, models. Uh, one that came with an obstacle recognition system back in uh, 2020, and in last CES we introduced um, a robot vacuum that could sonic scrub your floors, uh, which is you know uh, the S7. So this CES. Um, you know, we, we wanted to um, introduce something which you know takes takes this whole thing uh, a, a level a level above. So we are introducing our new newest flagship, the Robrock S7 Max V Ultra, uh, and this is a model that basically um, self empties, self washes, and self refills. So that's a lot of convenience here. Um, yeah, and we are very excited to tell you about it, uh, Fred. Well, give us the overview again. It's called the Roborock S7 Max, is it Max V or Max 5? That's right. So Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. I know it's a lot, uh, but it also <laughs> does a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it and how it's different. Describe okay. for us uh, what it can do. Okay, so um, the idea behind the S7 Max V Ultra is this. So with Robo vacuums, you want it to be very automatic, right? It's supposed to be autonomous vacuums. And for that reason, we, we, we really looked into what are the inputs currently still um, needed by customers when they're operating a raw vacuum. So um, last year we saw, you know, the past one, two years we have saw, uh, we have seen the, the trend of self empty, which is basically you don't have to empty the dustbin so often, right? So we had that uh, on the S7 Plus, um, that was last year. Um, but another one uh, that a lot of customers need to do is to wash the mop. And this is if you have a robot vacuum that mops. And with Roborox uh, models, they, they normally come you know, with the mop. So robot vacuum and mop. Um, so we are thinking, you know, how, how can we make it even more automatic? And, and what we did was to come up with a dock that not only self-empties, but also self-washes and self-refills. So essentially, what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis is to ensure that the, the clean water tank is filled with clean water and then occasionally when the when when needed the dirty water tank needs to be, needs to be emptied um, what you need to do is to tap on the tap on the app get the robot vacuum to start cleaning it goes off and every 20 minutes on you know this is on the default setting every 20 minutes it comes back to the dock it returns to the dock it gives itself a nice little scrub against you know uh, the dock washes them up so you know when it goes back on the 21st minute you know to continue its run uh, it goes out with a clean mop. And there you go. You, you don't want your raw vacuum uh, to be first cleaning your kitchens and then making its way over to your bedroom with the same mop cloth, which is wet and a little bit dirty. So that is the idea. Very interesting. So how often you, you, you would check this every day or two to, to make sure that the, you empty the dirty water and put clean water in? Right. So the clean water tank, um, it holds, so basically it holds up to three liters of water, right? So that, that amount um, is used for washing the mop as well as automatically refilling the onboard water tank on the S7 Max V, so on the roll vacuum. So uh, with three liters of water, it basically supports up to a cleaning space of more or less um, 3,000 square feet. So, you know, it really depends on how, how large your house is. Um, but you know, if um, if in every run, in, in every cleaning run, you 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 know, you clean up to a thousand five hundred uh, square feet, you basically have you know two cleaning runs. So that's about two. If if you do it daily, that's two days. So every two days, you go go in there, you empty the dirty water tank, you put in uh, you put in the clean water into the the, the clean tank. So that's that's uh, a rough idea of um, what you need to do with the water tanks. But on the dust dustbin, right? Because it also empties that that one supports up to, uh, on average, about seven weeks of hands-free cleaning. So, 
on that end, it's a bit more, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit more uh, less often. Um, but with the water tank, you know, um, every 300, uh, every 3000 square feet, more or less. Sounds terrific. Now, how does it know um, which to do, whether to mop or vacuum? Oh, it does. does, both it, the does it, it, it decides on its own? Yeah, yeah, it's it, it does both at the at the same time. So the beautiful thing about our robot vacuum is that it is actually able to vacuum and mop at the same time. And you might be wondering, like, what about carpets, right? If you're going out there and vacuuming your floors and mopping your floors at the same time, what if you know it, it, it gets on carpets? And this is the beautiful thing with, with the SL Max V Ultra, it is also able to detect carpets, right? So it, it understands when it gets on carpets and then it automatically lifts its mop, mop pad, the wet part, right? It lifts it up. And so when you're on carpets, you're only vacuuming. And then when you are, when you, when the raw vacuum gets down, you know, and, you know, goes on the floor, it knows that it is safe now to put that wet module down and continue mopping. So when on carpet, you actually stop scrubbing, you actually stop water flow, Basically, mopping stops. There's only vacuuming, so it's it's very automatic. It's it's worry free. You know, don't have to. You don't really have to. You know, take care of it. Just let it do its thing. Tell me about some of the technology that's on board here that allows it to do those things. Right. So um, the feature that I just told you about it's 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 what we call the the intelligent mop lift. Right. This works hand in hand with our you know newest mopping system which is basically sonic mopping so sonic mopping basically vibrates you know lets the uh, mop pad vibrates and you know up to a very very high frequency about three thousand times per minute and this is the idea behind this is to really scrub against the dry on stains and difficult stains on the floor right this takes care of you know it's like a active mopping this goes in hand in hand with the leaf so the leaf um it's basically the, the, the rubber rock um, basically senses that it is on carpets uh, using a, an array of sensors, right? It, it detects that it's on carpets and then it, it just, the algorithm goes and say, hey, okay, I'm going to lift this up by five millimeters, millimeters. So that, that is the technology behind it. But also um, as it goes around, right? This is a laser-based uh, robot vacuum. So laser navigator. So it understands its surroundings Right, it maps a, 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 a nice, uh, efficient path for it to, to, to clean from. And at the same time, it sees, okay, there is a shoe out there. There is a, a sock out there. And there probably, let's say, if you have pets and if, if it has an accident, it sees that, hey, that is a pet poo. So you want to clean around it. So it's very, it's very careful. It's very uh, automatic in that sense. Uh, it takes care of its surroundings for you. It understands the surfaces it's on. It lifts them up when it's needed. Um, yeah, it's, um, that, that is the idea behind you know, what we are going for, like full automation. And you're just using water for the mopping, right? Or, or do you put in a, some kind of cleaner? That's a, that's a very good question. So in the past, we have only recommended water, clear water. But with the SLMX V Ultra, we have now uh, a special solution, a special cleaning solution, which we have worked with Unilever, right? With their, with their cleaning brand, Omo, to come up with something that's just, just nice, that's just nice for Rob Rock. Uh, in the past, we, we, we had a trouble, right? recommending cleaning solutions because they would have, uh, they would probably leave behind some fine particles would, uh, which, you know, across time, over time, it builds up and probably will clog that very fine filters that, you know, water goes through onto the mop pad. So that was a common problem that a lot of uh, um, manufacturers face. And right now we have, um, we have worked together with uh, Unilever to, to come up with a customized cleaning solution that just works for, for this purpose. And so, yes, the good news is we can now use cleaning solution to go along with water uh, in your mopping runs. And that's uh, the customer decides whether they want to do that or not? Exactly. We, we leave the choice to the customer. So it's like an accessory that you can choose to buy uh, and you can do it through our website, us.robrock.com or you can go on, on Amazon and you know search. Obviously, this will come together with you know when the SMX V Ultra is launched. Well, tell us about that. When can people buy it and what will the pricing be? Okay, so this is going to be available 
early Q2. So it's about April, May, you know, depending on how quickly things go. Um, but yeah, do expect it uh, on Amazon or on our website, us.robrock.com um, at, a, at an MSRP of $1,400. So 1400 That is the whole thing with the doc. So it's a, it's a premium price, but you're, what you're saying is there's a lot of technology in here and it can do a, an awful lot. Exactly, exactly. So this, this is definitely a premium uh, robot vacuum system. Uh, it's, it costs a lot. Its name is quite a lot, but it also does a lot, right? So you really just need, all you need to do is to empty the dirty water tank, put in clean water, let it go, you know, up to a few weeks before you actually have to manually do more. Terrific. For more information, where do we go? us.robrock.com. That's, that's the place to go. R-O-B-O-Rock.com. Dan Chem, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you very much, Fred.